Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. You know, for years I've been saying the most important muscle in your entire body is your heart. And in saying that, we need to make sure that we keep our blood pressure at bay. Do you know that there's over 74 million Americans today that have high blood pressure? That equates to one in three. And I want to introduce you to five foods that will help lower your blood pressure. And believe it or not, the first is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are rich in a source of potassium. Remember, an adequate amount of potassium intake is essential for the balance of sodium and it promotes lower blood pressure. The recommended ratio of potassium to sodium should be five to one. Some additional sources of potassium come in the form of bananas or plain yogurt. But the second food that you need to put into your diet to lower high blood pressure is fish. Halibut and salmon have great sources of magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that promotes a lower blood pressure. Studies have shown that a diet intake of 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day of magnesium is linked to a reduced blood pressure. Magnesium also regulates the levels of sodium, potassium, and calcium within the cells. And the next food that medical science says that you should have to lower blood pressure is actually a food you could drink, and it's red wine. The skin of the red grapes is a rich source of the flavonoid resveratrol. Flavonoids have been linked to a variety of health benefits, including lowering the LDL, the bad cholesterol, decreasing cholesterol, vascular relaxation, and decreased triglyceride levels. And the next food that you should be putting into your eating regimen is garlic. Medical science says it has everything to do with the compound allicin found in garlic. You would need to eat four cloves a day to lower your blood pressure five to eight points. It's so worth it. Now you may need a little mouthwash. And the final fifth food that you should put into your diet to lower blood pressure is tomatoes. Tomatoes are a great source of carotenoid and lycopene. Studies with lengths varying from 8 to 12 weeks have shown a blood pressure reduction when patients were treated with tomato extract. Blood pressure reduction was between 9 to 10 points on the systolic and 4 to 7 on the diastolic. The statistics say it all. From 1996 to 2006, the death rate of having high blood pressure rose nearly 20 percent. How I've been saying it for the last 25 years, have food work for you, not against you. You are what you eat. Knowledge implemented correctly is so powerful. Hopefully these tips will help the entire family. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.